talking about this print, the individual that found it um, had been here the night before. He um, had been on the bank the night before and really they were hog hunting and didn't find, they, they were looking at prints. So they, you know, they would have noticed this print at the time that they were, were out here hunting. They were, you know, they were looking for a hog sign and um, they came back to this area the next morning and um, it was a Sunday morning, they came back out here and this print was left here um, after um, their visit back out here on Sunday morning. Um, so that you know can only really lead you to believe that this was left here at the time between when they got here Saturday night and when they um, got back here on sun, early Sunday morning. Um, I'm going to talk about the weather a little bit. It was very cold, rainy. It was 40 degrees. So the um, the odds of there being someone else out here walking around barefoot or otherwise um, very slim. Um, you know, if you know where we were, um, it's a good 15 minute boat ride. Um, you would have to have known exactly where um, the individual who found the prints was going to go and have come here and left it for him to find. But really, the, the chances of somebody coming out here and leaving this print for him to find are slim to none in my opinion. Um, so the, uh, the chances that this is a real Bigfoot print are, are very good. There's always the chance that it could be human. Um, you just can't rule it out, mainly because of the size. Um, but there really aren't, there really just was an opportunity for humans to come out here. So um, that's, that's the, the best overview we can give of the, of the situation and how it, how it occurred and how it was found. There were two gentlemen out here who, who saw the prints and they spent a good deal of time scouring the other banks looking for similar prints. Um, and um, in fact, we think we may have found an entry point and we're gonna, we'll go document that in a minute um, and, and try to talk to that point where it entered the water and then where it came out. Um, the water out here is very, um, you can see it over my shoulder, is very shallow. Um, the uh, it's actually, you know, you can wade out in it and it's not going to be above your knees. So it's pretty, you know, it's pretty feasible that it would walk through it. You know, something like a Bigfoot would walk through it to avoid going, you know, around it um, and save the, the trouble. So um, hope that helps to provide some information on this footprint and um, you'll see a lot more information about it coming out.